Hello again and welcome. My name is Lyndon Leete. I'm here with Jeff from ADEC. We're going to go over some of the features and benefits on installation for our new ADEC floor pans. All right, our, our floor pan is made out of a material called TPR, which is a high rubber content component. It has a lot more flexibility than anybody else's in the market. What that allows us to do is that everybody's mounting point on the front of their partition down at the floor is different. And in the past, you've had to either jigsaw, grind, saws all away pieces of the floor pan in order to fit brand X's or brand Y's floor pan to partition together. Ours should slip up underneath, will flex out of the way, should allow easy installation with minimal cutting in that. In order to trim the TPR, you can simply use a good sharp knife, a good set of shears. Uh, really, you don't need to grind and cut and hack, spend hours doing it. When I put them in the vehicles I've, we've, we've tested, we basically drop the floor pan in first um, and then start assembling the car up and around it. This area, this flap in here, on a Ford Utility, there's a bar underneath the front and passenger side seat. Um, if you were doing a vehicle without a partition, you could do, drill two quarter inch holes, put a Christmas tree in each side, and it would retain the, the floor pan in place. Uh, the other retaining points, are up here in the front corner that the B pillar trim is going to go, this is going to go up underneath it so you don't see this and that B pillar trim is going to hold it down to the floor. Back through here, the door sill trim, it's going to go up underneath and the door sill trim will help hold it in place. And then along this back edge, the front lip of the seat is going to hold it down and pin it in place. So other than a couple Christmas tree fasteners, there's really no other fasteners required. The material is quite flexible. Um, this is going to go up underneath. It goes right to the back area of the, of the console mount. Um, again, if you need to trim it, it's very easy with a pair of trim knife or scissors or shears. Um, if you wanted to install a floor pan, the V-drain could be mounted anywhere in here. It would flex into place. Uh, we, we don't suggest where to put it. That way, if the OEMs make a change, we're not suggesting you drill it through a brake line or a gas line or into something that they've moved over time. Um, we've added diamond plate pattern to the, to the floor to give it one. It, it allows this, it reflects the light so you have a better definition of the floor and it adds traction for the, for the suspect. If his feet are wet, they're not slick like the other brands. Uh, the TPR by nature has a, a more tactile feel or grippy feel to it so it should not be as slick as the ABS one or a TPO one. So that's a basic run through of the ADEC prisoner seat on installation. Feel free to visit us on our website, which is gorhinopd.com. You can contact us with any questions, inquiries, or quotes. You can also reference adec.com and reference any of the pictures and install guides there. You can also view our video on our website, which I do a basic run through of how to use the prisoner seat belts and features and benefits. So again, thank you for joining us. My name is Lyndon Leete from Go Rhino. I'm Jeff, Jeff Lowry from ADAC. Thank you. And we'll see you soon.